This is Jonathan Letson, and I'm going to be doing a few things on Super Mario Brothers today on this video. First thing I'm going to do is one of the most famous glitches in video games, the Modest World Tree. This video is mainly for some of my younger fans that I know that like to watch me play games, and for a newer generation of video games who don't know what this stuff is. So we're just going to breeze through this first level and get to the second level where we will perform the Minus World Glitch. Nostalgia. Okay, here we go. We gotta get to the end of the level. I didn't mean to do that. Just go up here, makes everything quicker. Now, we don't break that first block that's closest to the pipe, but we break the next three beside it. It's kind of a pain sometimes to get to the third block. Alright, now we get to the very edge of the pop, squat, and jump backwards. Make sure you stay squat till the last minute so you don't break the block. And there you go, I went through the wall. Now we go down the pop, and now we're in the minus world. Nothing too significant about the minus world, but I'll show you what it does. This game defies the laws of physics. There is fire underwater. Okay, now here's the special. All the, we're at the very beginning of the same level. Well, basically what happens, you make the end of the level, you just loop this level over and over again to either get game over or reset the game, which I'm about to reset the game. This is the Mario Brothers Duck Hunt twin cartridge, and that was my chair that just squeaked. Okay, now we're going to play through the whole game by warping. We're not going to go level by level. See how fast we can beat this. That one up is not necessary, but I always like to get it. Unless you're really bad the game, you need as many lives as you need, so. But I've been playing this game for over 20 years, so. Two thousand! I got the top of that. That should have been five thousand. Oh, I got a firework. Here's our first significant level. We're going to. This is where our first warp will happen. I didn't mean to do that. Basically, we're doing like the Minus World glitch. We're going at the top. But we're going to stay at the top. We're going to go past that tunnel. Stay on top. Keep going. And now look. Welcome to Warp Zone. World 2, World 3, World 4. We want to go to World 4.
It's kind of tricky jumping over them piranha plants like that. If you if you try that in the Super Mario All Stars version of this game, you will get hit. There's no way around it. For some reason on the original, you don't get hit when jumping over them, even if you barely touch it. There's some like that in World Eight too. Now here's our second significant level. That's where our second warp zone is. We'll get to this area right here. Boom, this block right there. Hit. Hit that block. Hit that block. Hit that block, and there's a beanstalk. And we find the beanstalk. I ain't worried about getting all the coins, just worried about beating it. Okay, we're warp zone, world 6, 7, 8, we want to go to 8, which happens to be the last world of the game. There's no warping in this world, we play every level of this world all the way through. Four levels. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I got hit right there. Oh, and that one turtle just committed suicide. Okay. Starman. Invincibility. I usually let it bounce a couple of steps so it'll last longer when I grab it. It's not necessary, but I like to do it. Another firework. And here we go. Here's where the levels get tricky. I almost got hit by that thing. I need to try to get the mushroom here because I'm in desperate need of it. Oh no! Thought I was about to get hit. Okay, here's a tricky part. My brother used to be really bad at this. I can usually do it, no problem. I hate going through this without a fire flower. I can't go as fast as I want to. I gotta be extra careful. That was close. That was so 5,000. Whatever. Okay, here's get yeah, even more tricky. We got Hammer Brothers in this level. They are a real pain if you don't have a fire flower. Ah, they're on the ground. Don't want to be on the ground. Don't want to be on the ground. Don't want to be on the ground. Oh, oh, oh. Darn it! Well, I was able to get rid of them. I can get this mushroom. No, 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 no. I don't believe this. I didn't see that hammer. Let's try this again. What just happened? I have no clue what just happened. Here comes first set of Hammer Brothers. Let's see if I can get past them. Oh, man! Okay, got him. 
Let's hope I don't hit this mushroom the wrong way. Okay. Now let's hope I can get past this second pair without getting hit so I can get a fire flower. You don't want them on the ground. Okay, let's hope this one does not fall on the ground. Okay, you didn't. There we go. I lucked out. I was able to get the fire flower. Okay, now there's more Hammer Brothers right here. There's another one right here, another one right after it. Now, stairway to heaven. Now we are on the last level, Bowser's Castle. We made it by warping, not playing through every single level, but you gotta play through every single level in the last world. Sometimes it's tricky to pull that off and not get hit. Okay, first pop after every lava. Except for that first lava pit we jumped at the beginning of the level. Lock there. And now it's gonna be flying cheap cheeps. Sometimes you'll get unlucky and get hit by it. Hit you out of nowhere. Now we're Defying the laws of physics again with there being fire underwater. You don't want to lose the fire flower. Because there's a hammer brother. I got lucky right there. That usually never works for me. Hammer brother. Boom. No problem since we got a fire flower. Make sure these pot of boos, fireballs, Aren't up in the air. We just see it. We jump. And here's Bowser. He's throwing them hammers. Oh, I just beat him with fire flower. Fireballs. You don't have to do that and get the axe, but since I had the fire flower, I went and did it anyway. More humiliation. Now we get the axe. And look at that midget of a princess. We have beaten the game by warping. And that's it for this video. Sometime soon, I will have a video of me actually playing through the game level by level. Hope you enjoyed it, especially my little fans. I'm not going to mention names, but you know who you are. And I'll have more soon. Have a good day. And goodbye.